What's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick uh, quick video on a new bag that I got. This is the uh, Timbuktu Howl backpack. Kind of want to give you guys just a run through of what I carry on a daily basis. I have two bags um, that usually go everywhere with me. Uh, both of them are Timbuktu. One is the uh, Timbuktu Commute uh, 2.0 Messenger. Uh, so this, if I leave the house, it's on my back or, or uh, something like that. I've also got a uh, Timbuktu uh, netbook messenger that usually goes with me when I just need to take my iPad or whatever. Uh, so right off the bat, first thing we do is got this front pouch right up here. Got some hand sanitizer, uh, box cutter. I usually always carry a knife on me, uh, but it's good to just have a utility type thing. Uh, we've got keys to work primarily. Uh, my favorite thing to carry on, which are these little Altoid tins. They're perfect for just about anything. In here I've got a couple USB drives, one that I kind of made on my own, taking an old USB apart. Uh, some square readers and a pair of headphones. And then I've got these uh, Colgate Wisps, which uh, are like little toothbrushes, um, just wherever you need them. So I think that's it for this bag here, so let me throw all this back here. What's cool about the Timbuktu, uh, this particular bag, is that it's flat enough that when you put in whatever you want, wherever you want it, it's usually flat enough to stay uh, that way so things don't usually jump on top of each other. So the next pocket, kind of ingenious, um, I've never seen a bag that doesn't kind of open in the same way every other bag is open where it just burr, 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 zip along the top. This one actually opens the whole way around so you can flip this flap open here. Um, so to give you a size comparison, this is a full size moleskin and this is uh, in here, this is the zipper that runs along the outside here. So pretty good size, so in there uh, I do have the moleskin, I've also got what I kind of call the, the personal stuff, kind of the hygiene stuff. So in here there's you know more of those wisps, uh, band-aids, a uh, off botanical wipe so you know you don't have to carry the off with you because it gets everywhere. Some of the lactate pills I am lactose intolerant, um, some of the wet ones just kind of individually wrapped and there's also some of the best things ever. Altoids in there, just the little mini ones. I like these bags. These are uh, just a Husky bag. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. They come in three sizes, and they usually come in a pack of three. There's one about this size, and then there's one about this size, um, and then they there's a size in between, so there's a three-pack there. This is also kind of a mesh material right here, so you can kind of see what's inside of it. Um, that's that. That I carry a number of pens. I carry just a black... Um, ink pen, a black gel pen, a blue pen, a sharpie, um, one of my favorite pens is so smooth it's a tool or a toll or however they say that uh, T-U-L, uh, nice needle point pen. The fine of the point and the gel it works best for me. Uh, fine tip sharpie for when I need to label kind of small things because that's going to last for a while. Just a regular ballpoint pen and then what I call a giveaway pen so if I need to give this to somebody I'm not going to be heartbroken. These are usually the things that you find at your bank that they've got sitting on the on the side there for you to take or any place that you go that gives you away free pens. I usually do those as giveaway pens. I also keep some of my business cards uh, down in here to give away to people. Uh, back here I've got a pack of gum in this zipper pocket right here. Once again, pretty deep. It goes all the way down. I keep uh, sticky notes. So if you need to label something or remind yourself of something or leave somebody a note, you can do that. Also a little uh, first aid kit. You can get these at the 99 cent section, uh, usually like a Target or anything that they use to travel with so that you know you get those smaller, uh, smaller things there that you can always take with you. So put that back here. What's cool about the bag too is that there's a little lip uh, right around there so even if you open it. Uh, while it's on you, it's not going to come flying out of there. So we'll zip this up. This Timbuktu makes great bags. They're always so smooth on the zippers. and just They, they think about just about everything when they do these bags. So uh, once again up here, just an unusual flap. And it only goes so far, allowing you to kind of open it at an angle. So you can always get into it. So in there I keep my uh, Beats by Dre. I've got these bags that I get from County Com. They're called the Pocket Organizers. Um, they're great. Checking out the bag, little one. I keep some earplugs in here. You never know when you're going to need earplugs. I usually keep a couple sets of those uh, so that I always have them. Um, Bella's come to check out what's going on, huh? Huh. 
Uh, but this is my hard drive. I usually keep my drive in here. I've got three or four of these little bags that I keep uh, different hard drives. I think this is like a 500 gig drive in there. A USB cable over here. So if I need to back up a customer's computer or their information, I can always do that. My other favorite Timbuktu product are these uh, kind of clear plastic. This is a really thick plastic on the outside, nice and thick to kind of keep everything contained. In here, just an iPad charger, um, mini display port to VGA, uh, 10 foot, 30 pin to USB, Apple in ear headphones, Apple HDMI cable. HDMI cable, FireWire 800 to 400, and all that fun stuff. Put that back over here. So the reason I keep everything modular like this is because I do uh, switch between bags quite often. So uh, having it modular makes it easy to just throw these five or six things into another bag and be ready to go. Each of my bags contain the same pens, the same uh, personal kits, and the same... Um, first aid kit so I usually know that I always have those things with me and then in my car is also kind of a bigger first aid kit um, some sunscreen different things like that that you don't need on a daily basis but uh, when you need it they're always in your car or whatnot uh, in here this is kind of just the miscellaneous bag I've got a uh, Belkin three port uh, power adapter surge protector I've got a uh, laptop lock a micro USB cable um, just a nylon probe tool so that you can open up anything and you know be statically safe when you do so. So that's just kind of miscellaneous in here. So I'll throw this back in there. Close this up. Uh, what's really cool is you can pick this bag up by the side. There's a nice handle here. There's these things here. I'm, I'm, Timbuktu is known for their kind of support in the bicycle community. So I'm assuming this is so you can put like your U-lock on uh, or you can attach lights to this of some sort so you aren't going to get hit by somebody. Uh, in the side here, another one of these great clear packs. I've got my uh, Apple charger and the six foot cable that goes on it as well as a USB container of Altoids. Um, I can put six in one USB adapter on there so I've got everything. Uh, in here is just my Apple 30-pin uh, cables. I'm usually always troubleshooting somebody's phone or you know if somebody messed up their cable and need another one so I usually carry one or two spares on me um, just so that I have one for somebody. Uh, this is the back of the bag. I'm not quite sure what this is for but there's a little zippered pouch right here. I haven't found anything in particular to use it for um, but I'm sure I will. It goes right up against you. It's a nice little tiny uh, pouch in there. I'm probably going to put my Apple remote in there just because it's about that size. It's only about this big. Uh, let me see if I can pull that in there. Only about this big right there. So there's a little zipper pouch there. Also the straps are nice. They're not just a straight strap. They kind of ergonomically curve. They've got things to hook on here. Again, I'm guessing for uh, lights for your bike. This little uh, chest support here scrolls up and down on this uh, channel there and it's a uh, stretchy on one end and solid on the other so it doesn't stretch there. Other side of the bag as we roll it over we've got a compartment for a laptop. Uh, this will support up to a 17 inch. I keep my 15 inch MacBook Pro in here. I'm going to pull that out. And then I also uh, don't know if you can see it but there's a nice pad here at the bottom so there is padding on the bottom. I still do put my laptop in another um, pad I have an in-case sleeve that I put it into and the reason being for that is a lot of times I kind of pick up the laptop separate from the bag and go to a classroom or uh, you know anytime I move the computer it's usually in that case um, I also have my iPad in a Timbuktu bag this is their Timbuktu um, iPad sleeve so as you can see big fan of Timbuktu big fan of this bag um, I'm not really concerned about weight because even with it fully loaded like this, it doesn't feel like it's too much on your back. Um, so being able to anchor down the load with these straps is great. So this is the Timbuktu towel bag. Highly recommended. Check it out on Timbuktu.com. That's T-I-M-B-U-K, the number two, dot com. Macmintosh here. We'll talk to you later.